One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. <laughs> Shapo Balls brought to you by Tupperware. <laughs> Hello everybody, my name is Peter and I've been doing Tupperware for a while now and what I've learned is that some people, when they see a piece of Tupperware, think, oh, that's just a bowl or, oh, that's just a kid's toy. Well, yes, it is a kid's toy, but it's not just a kid's toy. Tupperware needs to be demonstrated, so I thought I would demonstrate the iconic Shape-O Ball, all right? Now, not only can it be a rattle or a large maraca, <laughs> right? <laughs> Compared to my tiny little bedazzled maracas, right? But it's also a very educational, well, very educational toy, all right? So, not only does it teach you primary colours, so <laughs> our primary colours are one, two, three. Yes, it will also help you count as well because on the, I don't know if you can see that there, on the uh, shapes here, you've got numbers on one side, you've got the dots on the other side. So you can actually say, you know, show everyone, okay, so that's a nine, you've got the line, un line under the nine, and then you can count the dots, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then... So you can teach people counting, and you can also teach people shapes, and it's good for motor skills. So you've got to put the oval into the oval hole, all right? Then you've got the cross there, that's got like a number eight on there, and you can count up the eight, and you can pop it into the cross. Now, a lot of people don't realise... There's so many features to this shape of ball, it's amazing. And I demonstrated it for somebody who'd been doing Tupperware for 16 years, and she messaged me and said, Peter, I didn't know half of that from the shape I'm like, that's why we need to demonstrate Tupperware, all right? So did you know that, so there's 10 different shapes. I don't know if you can see that. There's 10 different shapes, okay? So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Did you know that number one has one continual line around there? So there's the circle into there. Did you know? I need my glasses. <laughs> Where are my glasses? I should have thought about this before I went, <laughs> before I started filming myself. Here are the glasses. All right, so we've got, there's a number two. There's the number two there. So you've got one, two. So you can help teach uh, the, the lines and you've got the number two, you can see the number two, and you've got the two dots there, and then motor skills. So it doesn't matter if you're a three-year-old or you're a 33-year-old, this will help you improve your motor skills, and it will teach people, whether you speak English or whether you don't speak at all, it will help teach you numbers in English uh, and the shapes and everything, all right? So number, the triangle is number three, you guessed it, one, two, three, so you can teach that way. That goes into here. Number four is the square, one, two, three, four, all right? So you've got that there, that goes into the square hole. Number five is alive, no, number five is the pentagon, one, two, three, four, five. You've got the five there, you've got the five dots there, you can pop that straight into there. Now, guess what is number six? Where are we? That's right, number six with the line underneath, number six, you've got the six-sided hexagon, so you can pop that there, find the hexagon side in there, and you can pop that straight in there. Now, this is where it does get a little bit tricky. <laughs> number seven uh, is the seven dots, you've got the seven, that one doesn't have seven sides, but that's the exception to the rule, right? So you've got the little trapezoid there, you've got seven, but you can always throw in a um, triangle and do the four and the three. Number eight, look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You've got the eight and you've got the eight dots. There's your little cross, a nice little Maltese cross. We pop that straight into there. Then you've got number nine is also, so seven and nine are the uh, exceptions to the rule. That's one line, but you've still got the nine dots there. You've got the line under the nine to tell you it's a nine. And we pop that straight into there. And number ten, ten, ten. There's the ten there, or ten dots. You got the 10 there, and guess what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, tens. You got the tens lines there, and you can pop that underneath there. Now, some people told me that oh, I really like it, but my baby get, opens everything and gets their finger caught into there. Well, guess what? Wind up the piece of elastic. Don't wind up anything else. Just wind up the piece of elastic. Turn, it does take a little bit of time to do that, I'll show you. Once you've wound that up so tightly, what will happen is, you can't, or you can open it a little bit, wind it up a little bit more, 
when you wind it up all the way, all the way, all the way, now it doesn't matter how strong you are, you're never going to open that up and, and get your fingers caught inside the toy. So now it's a true rattle. As the person gets older and is able to use their hands a little bit more freer, freely, <laughs> then you can unwind it and then they can practice unwind, unwind, unwind. They can practice getting the shapes out and doing all of that. So it teaches you colour, it teaches you shapes. You can use these as cookie cutters or Play-Doh, playing with Play-Doh cutters. Uh, you can use them to trace around, you know, pen and pencil, you can trace around. This will provide you hours of endless fun. And it's also teaching people while they play. So you've got the colours, the shapes, the numbers, you've got the dots so you can count. You've got um, craft work that you can trace around and you can Play-Doh and cookie cut and it is a rattle as well. I've actually got one that I'm bedazzling. I'm going to turn it into a 70s disco ball. That's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> if you've got any questions or suggestions, let me know Let the or let the person know who's posted this video and uh, we can get back to you, all right? <laughs> Forget your troubles and get happy. Dance all your cares away. Shout out. I'll see you all another day.